So I'm sure by now you guys have seen various AI companions, holograms, mixed reality headsets with AR, VR, and you may even seen companies talking about flying cars. You may have seen demos of them as well. What I'm trying to say is the future is here. Like, we are literally living in the future. Things we have used to see in the movies, you know, sci-fi films, are a reality. And I'm excited to see what 2024 has in store for us. First off, I'm looking forward to see, you know, what more AI companions or AI robots in general or AI generated tools that we have access to in the future. We have already seen ChatGPT, you know, prompt based. You enter in a question and it gives you an answer real time. And, you know, not just that, it can also do art, you know, with Dolly, it can draw, it can answer your questions, it can fulfill your creative needs at times. And we have seen other AI companions like Humane. AI pin and recently we saw R1 by Rabbit and it's, it's similar to the AI pin by Humane. It's, it's, it's a similar concept but it seems like it's more based on getting actual tasks done. So rather than like going on your phone and you know clicking multiple options to for example order an Uber, clicking multiple buttons to get to the screen where you can confirm and order an Uber, you could just tell it be like hey order me an Uber for this many people or just you know one person whatever and it will do it and it will show you a screen to like hey confirm the order which is which is really cool like you want to be able to confirm the order you want to see how much it would cost so maybe you can change your mind and stuff like that so that seems really cool and i'm looking forward to see what other companies are going to do with ai companions in general like we haven't really seen anything like this from apple yet i know apple does implement a lot of ais in their software but i want to see like an actual product where you can like speak to or show it something so not just like voice but voice audio video real time so all that coming together so i want to see what apple's take is on it and i'm sure they're going to announce something when it's fully ready like apple is known for that like they do it in the background and until it's fully polished then they will release it or announce it Google has BART and they are also working on Gemini AI which is like the brain of BART now and it's also being implemented on Pixel 8 Pro and I'm looking forward to what other products they're going to implement this AI into. Their next phones or their lineup of online applications like YouTube, Google Docs, Google Sheets, across the board. And they recently seen the announcement by Samsung that they are going to release their S24 series flagship smartphones and that's going to come with Samsung AI. So I'm looking forward to see, you know, how Samsung is implementing this AI. So various companies are, are working on AI concepts and I'm excited to see how each company takes their own creative medium to create a consumer technology that people can use on a daily basis to enhance our lives. So I'm, I'm excited to, to see that in 2024 for sure. So AI companions, more unique hardware like R1 or Humane's AI pin. And I want to see what the bigger companies tend to do like apple hasn't necessarily announced anything yet but i am excited about apple vision pro so on February 2nd, 2024, it'll be out in retail stores and soon it'll be out for pre-order starting January 19th. And based on the specs that are out there, the leaks that are out there, it is set to be 256 gigabytes. I believe that that's probably going to be the base model, but I hope they have like terabyte model. It creates like a new category of devices. We have seen other other headsets or virtual reality headsets like MetaQuest 3 or Microsoft's HoloLens. You know, so we have seen various headsets like this before. But the Apple's one, you know, Apple is implementing their, their own design guidelines and their own design aesthetics. And you know how Apple likes to do it. Apple's overall their ecosystem. And, and starting off from like, you know, how you interact with the device, like the fact that you can just use your hands and gestures to basically do everything on it navigation pause play increase volume bring up different screens launch an application so you can do everything with just your hands and I think like that's really futuristic like many of the other headsets they require some sort of a handheld device for navigating but the Apple Vision Pro is solely relying on just your hands and gestures and your voice and I think that's really cool and that's super 
super futuristic and I'm excited to see you know in, in action the, the product that will be available to customers that's coming out soon. It is gonna be super expensive though $3,500 for a headset with 256 gigabytes of storage like I don't know if I can necessarily justify that for myself to make such an expensive purchase but I'm excited to see the technology itself and I'm sure over time it's definitely gonna get better and hopefully it will get cheaper so I'm definitely excited for that it definitely brings up a new type of device a new category of devices for consumers and it's it's really futuristic Speaking of futuristic, I'm also really looking forward to more futuristic cars. Like the Cybertruck looks really cool. Somewhat of an odd design, you know, the triangular design. We have not seen that in any other cars per se, but it is futuristic. Like the, the headlights, uh, the, the rear lights, and just technology in general. They have like multiple screens. There are less buttons. And you know, the fact that it's a full EV truck. And I hope other companies takes notes on this and creates more futuristic vehicles like this. So like we are already starting to see in CES 2024 I believe LG showcased one of their futuristic concept car where you know it has self-driving and it, it has like a built-in refrigerator uh, built-in like barista like you can get like a fresh drink it seems really cool so like more futuristic cars more EVs it's definitely the future I want to see how companies are going to implement these technologies Technology grows exponentially and just look at ChatGPT. It started out with only knowing information up to September 2021. But like from there, you know, there's there's so much that has been built up on it. And to this day, they recently released Chat GPTs, which are basically like specialized GPTs on like a particular task, and you can you can even increase its capabilities beyond like connecting it to third-party applications or APIs and giving it even more capabilities, more specific tasks can be done by those separate applications so yeah so technology is growing exponentially and I'm totally here for it like waiting for the day when we have AR VR headsets that look just like regular glasses or we don't necessarily have a phone but we have those AI companions that are just on us and we just like speak to it or or gesture like in front of us like in, in front of your eye just gesture something and it you know activates a command or orders you an uber stuff like that so the future where it's less screen but more human more things getting done without having to stare at a screen all day I feel like that's the future we're definitely gonna lead to it's already starting out but it's gonna take time for the consumer to catch up I feel like some of the technology is already there but technology also needs to get better over time to a point where it's more convenient to users because right now a lot of the AI companion devices like the R1 you know the rabbit OS announcement of their AI companion which is like this little device and it's and it's cool and all but like what's stopping apple from implementing that on the iphone like i mean the iphone has all the sensors you could probably just enable some voice command in an application that can do the same thing so what's so unique about it the ai companions need to get to a position where they're a lot more powerful than just like the iphone like they have they need to have a lot more capabilities but you know we got to start somewhere and i'm ready for 2024 to show us a lot more of that so i'm totally excited about this I'm also super excited to see you know what videos that I work on and I make like I, I always have like a plan for what videos I'll make every month but like sometimes I will come across an article or I'll see a video of like like this latest technology or something I just heard like about an update or something like that and it's and it may be more exciting to me than what I have planned so sometimes I'll make videos spontaneously and so I'm excited for those moments as well like to see what technologies that catch my eye that I want to make a video about definitely subscribe if you guys want to see those videos coming up I, I do have great videos in the lineup more reviews more ideas and talking about the future of technology so I hope you are also as excited as I am so at the end of the day have a super day and thanks for watching